So what is this suicide bomber all about? Well, we talk about a smart bomber. That's a weapon system of the future. It will soon be in India's hand. Let's tell you a little more about this amazing piece of technology. Take a look very closely at your television screens. The Harap can loiter in enemy airspace for six hours, scouting for targets, passing crucial information back to the human handler sitting in the mission control shelters. Imagine if this was that ship that the terrorists took from Karachi to Mumbai during the 26-11 terror attacks just before it. If we had accurate intelligence, we could have launched a harap to bring this down the way. This is how this harap brings the enemy ships down. Well, at 10 million dollars a piece, this is an extremely expensive weapon system reserved for only the most hardcore targeting operations. Now, with a starting arsenal of 10, India may acquire up to 30 harps from Israel. Now, this weapon system is also designed to focus damage at its target, has a low radius of destruction to reduce collateral damage. And this hunter killer is designed to loiter in the battlefield and attack targets by self-destructing into them. This extremely potent weapon system has been developed for suppression of enemy air defense systems. The moment the enemy switches on his radar, the sensors lock on. Real-time information is provided to the base. So there are twin advantages. Take out the radar and the critical enemy assets. India is acquiring 10 of these weapon systems. If you think this is the only kind of suicide bomber on earth, if you think India has no suicide bombers of its own, watch carefully. This is the Harap, the world's smallest suicide bomber. A merciless machine that takes no prisoners. This insect-like droid is built for one thing and one thing only. To seek and destroy with devastating efficiency. With a super sharp microchip for a brain and some of the world's most advanced sensors, the Harap is a remote controlled killer. A devastating lone ranger that India will deploy against its enemies. Imagine another 2611, a scenario not far from the realms of possibility. A ship confirmed to be carrying armed terrorists with high explosives is detected on the high seas and it's heading straight for Mumbai Harbour at high speed. All efforts to engage the terrorists have failed. The Harap is launched set towards the terrorist vessel. Once atop the vessel, it acquires the target and confirms its identity. This is what Indian commanders see on their monitors on shore. With target locked, the suicide mission begins. India definitely needs them because uh, militants, as you know, in JNK especially, are uh, infiltrating in large numbers, especially this year there has been a great increase in the infiltration. So if you have a weapon system of this nature, then uh, your capability improves to deal with these people. We talk to them, but what would be our response if there was another 2611, God forbid? If we are able to establish with a reasonable degree of certainty that another attack on India emanated from Pakistani soil, then we will respond swiftly and decisively. Swift and decisive, the Harap can play havoc with Pakistan's terror training camps across the line of control. The Harap can be discreetly launched across enemy lines, low enough to evade enemy radar, loiter in enemy airspace and smash into a terror training camp, no questions asked. The Harap is a sinister killer, just like a suicide bomber, it leaves almost no evidence. India's arsenal just got a whole lot smarter. With the Blinsing in Delhi, Shiv Arur headlines today.